Good morning, friends. <clears throat> I get to lead us in our devotion today. And uh, in preparation for our devotion, I did a very silly thing. I went online and I googled scripture verses about the changing seasons. And as I was reading the result, <laughs> which were few and did not mention autumn, I realized that the Bible was written in Israel. <laughs> And as a result, my attempts to find a verse about autumn were not going to work out so well. So the reason I wanted to look up, uh, you know, what God might have to say about autumn in particular is because it's so beautiful. I feel so immediately connected to God. Uh, anytime I just look outside or walk outside or get near autumn in any way, I think there's a, a really glorious, somewhat bittersweetness to this particular season in Minnesota. We all know what comes after autumn, <laughs> and only my friend Brent Rasmussen is looking forward to it. <laughs> but, but I think while it happens, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. I lived in Phoenix with no autumn for quite a few years, and it was really hard. I missed it. So what I thought I'd do uh, for you today is read or quote you Daniel 221, <laughs> which is the closest I could get to something relevant, and then pray that over you and all of us while showing you some of the changing leaves off of my backyard deck. So Daniel 221 says, uh, it is God who controls the changing of the times and the seasons. He raises up kings and brings down kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the understanding. And wouldn't we like to be wise and understanding? We would. And one day we'll be kings, joint heirs with Christ. So I'm going to change the <clears throat> facing of my camera and say a prayer for you. And then uh, we'll be done for the morning. God, I thank you for your gift of the seasons. I thank you for making so much beauty. And even though winter is coming, God, we know you're the giver of all these good things. I thank you for creating special beauty for those of us who live in places that are cold Thank you for all the color in these trees. And God, we pray that you would just make us joint heirs with Christ. That we would know we have royal blood. That we are a royal priesthood. We pray that you would give us knowledge, God, that you would help us not to turn away from the truth ever in any things. And I pray that you would make us a people of understanding, God, who are wise. The nature around us teaches us so much about you, God. I thank you for being beautiful and for making so much beauty. I thank you for giving us the gift of the seasons again. As we go about our day, God, I ask that you would give us eyes for the beauty around us. I pray that you would help us to remember this beauty year round. And I pray that you would help us to live lives full of your beauty, celebrating your beauty in every season. Be with us today, God. Touch every person who's watching with us. Touch every member of our family. And through us, touch the world, God. Amen. I love you, friends. And 
I hope that little taste of autumn uh, is followed up by a whole lot more autumn. God bless you.